Welcome everybody. Welcome to Zion Capital FX. My name is Chance and you were watching the video log series where we take someone that doesn't know anything about Forex and indices and the markets as a whole and put them on a path to consistent profitability and financial freedom. My name is Chance and today we're going to talk about something really important. We're going to talk about uh, trade journals and why you should keep one. So as you start placing trades and you start trading, you need to keep a running record of all the trades that you take, whether they're wins or losses. Why is this really important? Well, in order to be a successful, consistently profitable trader, we need to go by uh, facts. We need to go to buy. We need to go by data. And the only reason, or the only way, we're going to be able to get data on the trades that we take, um, on the trades that we win, win, the trades that lose, is by keeping a record or a journal of those said uh, trades. Uh, it's really important because um, it was through a trade journal that I discovered uh, there was a common denominator to my my losing trades. This was uh, a while ago, um, and then once you know I had this this historical record, or I could go back and look at all the, all the trades that I took, and I was seeing this repetitious uh, flaw in my trading. You know, uh, and once I figure that out. I eliminated that and I tweaked my process just a little bit. Uh, I started seeing some crazy results. So it's it's stuff like that. It's really important to keep a journal. It is probably the most tedious part or of of trading. And uh, for a lot of people, I would say, you know, you can Google this, but probably close to ninety percent of people don't don't uh, have a trading journal. And it's super easy to make. It's just you know, it's something that no one really wants to do unless you're just like a, uh, you've got an analyst background and you just, you know, you love data. But I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you a simple trade journal uh, <clears throat> here. So let's share. We're going to go to Excel. All right. Here's a, a simple trade journal. And uh, this is a new one that I started for a certain account. And as you can see, you know, a number of trades, date, time, the asset that I was trading, the position I was in, my lot size, stop loss size, entry price, stop loss price, take profit price, the risk, the reward, when, the percent gain. And you're probably wondering, why do you have reward and why do you have percent gain? Because this is the, the reward is what I initially set. I set for a two uh two percent reward, and uh, sometimes when you're managing trades, you might close out early, or you know, depending on how you manage a trade, the percent gain might actually be different. Um, so that's why I have two different uh, categories for that. So my initial reward it was uh two percent or two point two four percent, and it hit to take profit no problem, <clears throat> got the two point two four percent gain, and then my strategy. Uh, I have different strategies in my arsenal, and this is the one that I've been using as of late. And then I ha I take a screenshot of the trade in Trading View, and then I put it in Excel as a hyperlink. And then this, if you click on it, this is the the screenshot of the trade that I took. Now this is important because this is how you're gonna start seeing patterns. You're gonna start seeing variables factors that you, you didn't see at the time when you take the trade this is how i was able to recognize a common denominator in my losing trades <clears throat> i was going back to my screenshots and i was trying to figure out why why am i losing right and then also it helps reaffirm your winning trades you know did you follow your strategy uh to a t did you you know do like set, set out to do what you initially uh wanted to do did you follow through with your plan? What was it about your plan that, you know, you didn't maybe necessarily follow through with, uh, you know, just stuff like that. So it always helps to review your winning trades and your losing trades to try to refine this, this craft. Uh, I can tell you this, um, you don't, you don't ever really master this in my opinion. Uh, there's, you, you, there's always room for improvement. You can always get better. Um, you know, the guy that says, you know, I, I broke the market, I beat it, whatever, you know, 
the, the market's always changing. You as a person are always changing. You can't truly, in my opinion, be a master trader. You know, there's always room for improvement. And so, uh, you know, with a simple journal, you know, you, you, you kind of separate yourself, you know, uh, you separate yourself from the rookie trader to the professional trader because not everybody goes through this process. You know, I, I would say with like 90% confidence, those who don't do this are not consistently profitable. Um, this is really important. Having data, having, you know, cold, hard facts uh, helps a lot. You know, from this, you can, you can uh, figure out your win rate, your strike rate. You can figure out, you know, how profitable your, your strategy is over a period of time. You know, there's all kinds of good things that you can get from having this data in your back pocket. So I highly encourage you to start a trading journal and start journaling your trades. At the end of the day, go back, review all your trades, put them in your journal. Um, you know, and little little tip, when I, when I was doing this and... I'd be trading at home because I like trading on my desktop. I would automatically in the win loss section, I just put a loss right off the bat just to reassure that I accepted that risk. I was okay with that loss. And then, you know, if the trade played out and I won, it was a nice little surprise to change that loss to a win and, and change to a positive percent gain. Um, but that's, you know, that's another story or another topic for another day risk management and psychology but anyway trade journal i highly encourage you to start one doesn't have to be like this it can be a handwritten journal that's how i started out i started out with with post notes all over the place um you know and and then now my trading journal it looks very similar to this like i said this is a a journal that i've started for another account so anyway uh, i hope you enjoyed this video it's really important that you journal your trades. It's really important that you take this seriously. You know, if you're just, um, if you're just going willy nilly at this and, and you're not really, you know, doing these kinds of things to ensure that you're taking this serious. Uh, you know, in a sense, you're like a, a blind man peeing in the wind and, um, any blind people out there, I'm sorry, no offense. Uh, but that's how I feel about it. All right. So, Anyway, thanks for watching. Zion Capital FX, my name is Chance. You know, consistent profitability, that's the goal. Financial freedom, that's the dream. Let's go. Um, until next time, peace out. I just realized something. I didn't show you how to actually do a screenshot on TradingView. I am so sorry. So, you know, that whole bit on taking a screenshot on your trade journal, I never showed you how to do it. So let's go do that right now, Jair. Okay, so in order to do this, uh, let's say what you see on TradingView, it, you want you know you want that to be a screenshot, whatever the case may be. Go to this camera icon up here at the top right corner, click on it, and then copy link to the chart image, <clears throat> and that's going to copy the the hyperlink to your clipboard. And then what you can do is link to the chart image has been copied. So then you can go to your trade journal and then you can just copy and paste it into your trade journal and then it saves it as a hyperlink in your trade journal. So um, there you go. Now you know. Now you can't say I didn't tell you.